After a very disappointing season, especially the last half of the season for the Padres, the team is going with experience this time in choosing a manager. Reports today that the Padres have hired Bob Melvin to replace Jace Tingler as a manager. He's managed the Oakland A's for the past 11 seasons and is a three-time manager of the year, once with the Diamondbacks in 2007, twice with the A's in 2012 and 2018. Here to talk more about it is a regular visitor to the for the host of Locked On Padres podcast, Javier Reyes. Uh, Javier, first off, you know, uh, you've had a day to kind of process this news, those early reports. Uh, what are you thinking about Bob Melvin today as a fit for the Padres? I just love the message it sends. You know what I mean? On top of the fact that he's one of the most well-regarded managers in the entire sport, the fact that he's a guy that's with his players. If Tatis ever swings on another 3-0 pitch for a grand slam again, Bob Melvin's definitely going to be one of those guys that sticks up for his players. But on top of that, I like the message that it sends. I like that it sends a message of, we're going for some big fish. We're going for managers that are really well respected, not just guys that are somewhat connected to AJ Preller and don't have as much experience. And I think that's really key given all the personalities you have to manage and the expectations. You know, naysayers are going to go out there and say, but he hasn't had a deep playoff run. He's had all this regular season success. Mm -hmm. What has he done? You know, doesn't have a World Series. What's going on there? Yeah, I mean, look, that's what I, all the naysayers are going to say, right? That's what yeah. the people always say. I've never understood that. What I love about team sports is how often people forget that it's a team. Uh, and in this case, my thing is, I don't think Bob Melvin's had nearly as much of a supporting system around him when it comes to, you know, how his team is operated. The Oakland A's are a little cheap. You know what I'm saying? They're a little cheap when it comes to spending money and going after big name talent. The Padres used to be a little bit like that, but not anymore. So now he's moving over to this team that, I mean, Tatis alone is probably the most talented yeah. player he's ever managed. So I just think from that perspective, you got to say, yeah, okay, he hasn't had the playoff success just yet, but that's it's more to it than just him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's not just his lone fault. And bringing a total different knowledge base and approach to the Padres, something we haven't had a complete outsider, but with a lot of experience. It'll be interesting to see. And the Padres didn't stop there, though. It, but before we learned mm -hmm. about the Bob Melvin hiring, we heard about Ruben Niebla. Uh, he's the p pitching coach. They're getting him from the uh, the Cleveland franchise, I'm going to call them now. <laughs> the pitching <laughs> coach. What do you know about him? That's It seems like another solid hire. It's another one, and it was one that I wasn't expecting. Here's the thing. Cleveland, they're also like Oakland in the respect that they, for some reason, love to not spend money, okay? Yeah. I mean, not for some reason. I think everybody can connect the tea leaves and everything for why they don't do that. But they're really, really, really good at developing pitching. And from the people I've talked to, uh, both via you know, Locked On Network and just people that I know, are saying like he was probably one of the front runners to take over the main managing position if Terry Francona wasn't going to stay uh, with Cleveland, for example. And then all of a sudden, the Padres kind of just swooped in and poached him. And he was the guy that oversaw all the you know young prospects prospects and you know kind of minor league stuff he was their main guy so you know when you look at the Padres one of the things they struggled with is pitching development you see a bunch of guys that get worse when they go here and a bunch of guys that get better when they go elsewhere yeah. you know what I'm saying so I think that that's a really great hire that dare I say mm, all right I'm not going to go that far as to say it was more impactful than the Bob Melvin hire but, but it it's should definitely be treated, uh, on equal ground definitely rate. a big one it's not even technically the offseason yet but Padres are having <laughs> a good start to the offseason Javier Reyes with the Locked On Padres podcast a daily podcast check him out he's going to talk a lot about this and there's a lot more to come this offseason thanks Javier as always for joining us Awesome. Stay faithful, Fire Faithful homies. There you go. And again, you can find Javier's Locked On Padres podcast anywhere you get your favorite podcast.